this video, we're going to look at Business Insight Advanced, a new Cognos 10 reporting tool. What you'll see in Business Insight Advanced is that it's a reporting tool for business authors, similar to what you're used to with Query Studio, but it also has some exploration capabilities like you would see with Analysis Studio. The tool is really meant to replace uh, Cognos Express authoring which used to be available within Report Studio. You can access the tool by clicking the Author Business Reports icon from your welcome screen. You'll notice the new Cognos 10 splash screen that's available at the beginning of each of the Cognos 10 tools where we can choose to create new or open an existing report. In this case we'll create a new report. You see that we have a limited list of types of reports for ease of use, I'm going to create a chart report and introduce you to some of the new charting tools within Cognos 10. So you can see from our list of available charts, this has grown substantially from Cognos 8. Within columns, you'll see we now have the ability to do triangle shaped. If we look within donuts and pies, you'll see that we now have hollow pies as well as the ability to break out pieces of the pie. They've also added the bullet chart as well as some advanced reports such as heat maps. So let's begin with the heat map and say OK. If you notice the top toolbar in this tool, you'll see that it's very similar to Cognos Report Studio as far as capabilities. What you'll notice though is that our properties pane in the lower right when available is much less substantial than you would see in Report Studio. Also, if you notice our chart, you'll see that, that it's no longer showing drop areas. In order to see drop areas now, you must first click on their chart and the drop areas become available. Similar to Cognos Express authoring mode, as we begin to drop items onto our page, they're going to load on the fly. So this is interactive reporting similar to what you've seen in the past. So I'm going to add order method and we'll see that order method is now part of my rows. Everything's still blue because I've not added a series yet. So for series I'm going to choose time. So I've now got a heat map showing how much of each order comes from each area and then what percentage within that area is distributed by year. What you'll notice is that we, we have some extra options at the top, one of which is color schemes that we can quickly add from a drop down menu. So I'm going to change my palette to classic and you'll see our colors change to different shades of blue. I'll reuse that same palette with each of my charts that I add. Within our toolbox you'll also see that we have a limited toolbox compared to Report Studio. But from this I'm going to add a table and I'll make that a 2x2 two two table so that I can build out a quadrant report. I can now drag my chart to the lower left within my quadrants and I'll begin adding additional charts to this report. So in the lower right I'm going to do a 3D triangle based cone report and I'll now drag to the upper right I'm going to do one of our new gauge designs and to the upper left I'm going to drag a bullet chart. So I now need to add data for each of these. For my bullet measure I'm going to use revenue and for my target measure within that bullet I'll use planned revenue. On my gauge chart, I'll use quantity as our measure, and I'll use branch for our axis. Finally, in my lower right chart, I'll use margin for our measure, and I'll use retailers for our series. So as you can see, I was able to very quickly create a graphically appealing report using the, only the new charting tools available within Cognos. Again, this tool is called IBM Cognos Business Insight. From here, I can save the report 
and then run it as any other user, just like I would from a regular Report Studio report. One of the nice things about this tool is that you can interact with it on the fly as a developer. So if I want to drill down on the year 2007, I can simply click on it to drill. And we'll see that now it's broken out by quarters within 2007. So I'll save this report to my folders and I'll call it BI Advanced. If I close this now, and return to my Cognos content area and my folders, you'll see my BI Advanced report available and ready to run. When I run this report, it looks how I would expect it to look based on how I've designed it. Again, it's still interactive, where I can drill up or drill down within the elements. And this report can now be shared with other users. So to recap, Business Insight Advanced is a tool that's designed to replace Cognos Express authoring. It's meant for ad hoc reporting with drill down and ad hoc report creation. It's different from Query Studio in the fact that you're going to be building more advanced dashboard style reports and more visually appealing reports while designing with Business Insight. If you have any questions about this tool, as always, please email sales at brightstarpartners.com.